you're up. Get your cup of coffee and let's pull up a chair and let's see what the Lord is going to give us today. And as we begin, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, you got this gospel, it's going to give us a little bit more here. And it's going to teach us something here. You know, Jesus has come up, people have been asking him things, he's talking about releasing the word, and be connected to the word, and, and, and these people haven't been paying attention to John the Baptist. So this is basically what he's talking about. And they have an opportunity to change their life, but they're not paying attention. So this, this is basically how he's responding back. So the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except for the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. So you look at this and say, what is this all about? People weren't really following the Baptist says, "Repent," you know, you know and, and again, and 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 again, so that you can get your hearts cleaned up. Okay, basically, you know, during a little bit during Advent, we talk a little bit about you know fasting a little bit, but that's more of a time when we do that during Lent, and both times. But but um, but actually, fasting is a way of prayer. That, that, that should be done year-round. The practices of Lent aren't to be just done during that time period. It's to be done all year-round. But it's to get you to back into, to change things up so that you can be connected to that intimacy with God. This is talking about evil and how evil wants to pull you away from that and wants to fill you with these other things and fill your time with these other things. The best way to get clarity in here is in here, in your heart, to know him in your heart and to be able to understand in your heart that intimate relationship. So sometimes we need to fast. Now fasting can be with food. Maybe it's with electronics. Maybe it's with TV. Maybe it's with you know, stuff like that. And, and just spending more time in the word of God Remember the line right before this reading talks about the Word of God. And Jesus is saying, hey, they don't know the Word. And, and again, um, so we need to plant the Word here so we can be drawn into that intimacy with Him. Fasting is a great way. So we connect with the Lord in a deeper way. So fasting, you know, sometimes it can be done with food. Sometimes it can be done with Maybe I give up you know, electronics or food or movie, movies or whatever else. And maybe one day a week, you know, it's, the church always suggests it's Fridays. But, but again, you can do it other times. You can, you can make your, your meals different. Maybe you just go to a simple shake or a bowl of soup or something like that at lunch. And, 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 you, just, and, you, and you fast at lunch every day or something like that. Um, when I had my business, that's what I did is I, I basically it would open up my Bible for an hour and, and uh, closed my door and uh, told my secretary uh, I'm unavailable for the next hour and and uh, and uh, and spent that with the Lord in that fasting time let that hunger well up for him and let that light come into you 
so you can recognize the difference between light and darkness. The world is going to throw all kinds of stuff at you. It is. Whether it's political or whatever else, it doesn't matter. The world throws all kinds of chaos at you in trying to say that it's the truth. And this reading talks about truth. We need to be connected to God's wisdom. And you need to be able to discern darkness from light and, 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 and know what's the difference. Well, I know that. Well, it'll help you to go deeper if you can do that by fasting. Some type of fast. It can be simple. Okay? So, in closing, it's time to just open up your heart in a deeper way. Uh, this next Saturday, there's a, should have been in the bulletin, um, but there's an all-day retreat at the Padre Pio Center from 9.30 to 4, and it's talking about how to go deeper and know the Holy Spirit in here with your life. And again, it'll conclude with an adoration healing service at the end. So that's another opportunity. There's all kinds of opportunities out there to strive, to change things, and, and to move into intimacy. So the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a great week. I'll see you next Monday.